Hi, my name is Don Forrest, Senior Advisor for New Wei Ming Law Group. Today, we're going to discuss the increase of premium processing fees for 2024. Starting from February 26, 2024, based on the postmark, the USIS will increase the fee for premium processing, also called PP, with I-907 form by 12%. The previous premium processing charge of $2,500 which applies to various types of employment-based I-140 petitions, including EB1A, EB1B, EB1C, NIW, and EB2 and EB3 applications based on PERM, as well as I-129 petitions for various types of work visa applications, including H-1B, L-1, O-1, TN, and E visas, will increase totally to $2,805. The previous premium processing fee of $1,750, which applied to I-539 applications for changes to F-1 visa status within the United States, as well as changes to J-1 visa status, H-4 visa status, I-2 visa status, O-3 visa status, and some visa status extensions, will increase to $1,965. The previous premium processing fee of $1,500, which includes the expedited processing of F-1 OPT EAD applications for students' practical training, which usually happens after graduation, will increase to $1,685. The last time was in 2016, which was eight years ago. A few years ago, USIS once proposed another price increase, but it was halted by the courts. This time, given the current environment, the price increase cannot be avoided. The operating costs of USIS are funded by application fees paid by applicants, not by appropriations from the U.S. government. Therefore, if the U.S. government temporarily shuts down due to Congress's dispute over the fiscal budget, it does not affect USIS's continued acceptance and approval of applications. Each year, thousands and thousands of applicants invest $800,000 for investment-based green cards and pay high amounts of various fees. In comparison for eligible applicants applying for EB-1 and NIW green cards can save you time, effort, and surely money. Over the past 15 years, our firm, New Wei Ming Law Group, has helped thousands of applicants worldwide to obtain approval for EB-1 and NIW green card applications. We have also assisted many other applicants in obtaining approval for family-based immigrations, employer-supported green cards, and various types of visa approvals. Contact us if you have additional questions or immigration needs. We would be most happy to address any questions you have and assist you with your immigration needs. Thank you.